All right, my name is Nikki Simmons and I'm going to do this video on how to standardize a recipe. And a standardized recipe is basically something that you can create and it's something that's been simplified so that it's very straightforward and it creates the same quality, quantity, and it creates uniformity in all of the products that are made using that recipe. So it's basically like a format that you're using so that you know exactly what's going into it, how you're making the recipe, and what you're gonna get out of it. So once a recipe has been tested repeatedly and accepted, that's when it becomes a standardized recipe. And this can be anything. Um, there's usually a block format used for this, which is discussed in the slides. Um, and recipe standardization undergoes it encompasses three phases, which is recipe verification, product eval, and quantity adjustment. So recipe verification includes reviewing components of the recipe regarding the preparation instructions, making the recipe, and recording changes on the recipe. And this is done before the recipe is made in order to help the person who's actually making it, even if it is you, it helps outline what you're supposed to do in that next step. So product eval, examines the level of acceptability that the food service managers, the customers, and the staff have towards the product. So then the recipe is adjusted based on the quantity needed. But back to that product eval, that's when you kind of get input about things and you can change some things, even with small adjustments that are made for standardized recipes, you still need to go back and see how everything is done and see if it has any effect on it. And then for the quantity method, there are different ways of doing things and kind of scaling up or down, um, like the factor method or the percentage method. And you can do different things depending on kind of what the recipe is and you know how it might be easiest. You could also scale it up by 20 servings, 25 servings. Um, if you're cooking in a pan, you can add two more pans, you can add one more pan and see how that goes, see how long it takes and you also want to make sure that when you're writing these recipes and you're standardizing them they have all of the information listed out on there so that you know you're getting the right quality product each time and everything is straightforward and somebody can look at the recipe and know exactly what needs to happen so that means that there's usually information regarding the yield the portion size the oven temperature, the baking time, the speed, and the timing of any mixing utensils or mixing equipment that's used. Um, the amounts are stated in US weights and measures. Sometimes there's nutritive values added on there. It doesn't have to be. According to what the slides were saying, it's more or less needed. Um, and uh, there's also production service and storage information listed on there as well, because if all of it isn't being used, you need to figure out what to do with the rest and how to kind of go about making it for the next time and knowing what you're gonna need and what you don't. So hopefully this was a good kind of overview of what recipe standardization is and, and how to do it. And thank you.